what it do space crew so it's march 1st and the sun is out it's 8 a.m and i hurt my foot so the store is now on vacation mode because i can't go out to the post office to go deliver orders i'm supposed to stay off my foot luckily i didn't break it but it is very swollen and it's hard to move my toes that being said I can still get to my computer and work on a few things in the meantime so we're going to focus on making a new product this month and just keeping off my foot. Alright let's start off with opening some packages. I got a drill adapter for old tripod because at this point he's just become my king cake machine. Next I ordered some iridescent keychain straps for a later project. Maybe next month, we'll see, but I've got a huge bin of multicolor yarn and I think I could crank out some cute keychains for these. Now, because I started doing a lot of Mardi Gras knitting, I figured I'd have something else made that I don't have to continually make myself. I had some keychains made that I think came out pretty nice. I'm just checking them over for the quality. This one has a few bumpy edges. It's nothing a little sanding won't fix. Since I love to give myself more work, I'm adding these little beaded charms to the keychain as well. I think the holiday keychain should have different packaging from the regular keychains, so I printed a themed backing card to match. I'll package a few of these up and leave some for photos later.
It's the man of the hour, Deep Space Danny. I love how these turned out. The rainbow hollow looks so perfect and the colors are nice and saturated. Of course, I have to unpackage and grade these too. I didn't find any issues, so everything gets an A. Okay, so now I'm going to do a bit of work on this sticker sheet. I'm gonna make one of those, I call it sweets menu. I like the way those look. I want to make one of my own with its own little color scheme. So the way I start doing them is I, well first I have my sketches here, so I already did these ones and I think I already did the sketches after I finished them. Let's see. Yeah, so these are the ones I have left. And I haven't decided between the design I want to do on these ones, if I want it to just be a little planet with some sauce on them, or if I want it to be like planet, stars, or moon, so. I'll make a decision on that when I get to that one. And then the last one will be some flan. Always gotta have some flan. But right now I am working on this mochi, which is like a rock candy kind of mochi. And the way that I start these is I have, well, first of all, when I do any type of like painting that are more detailed like this and not just the cell shaded ones there's always a reference image so let me show my reference image so i found this one and i love the way it looked we're not really going to use these colors i use them to start and then we put a gradient overlay over them and let that influence the colors afterwards so i'm just going to be pulling the colors off of well i already did it so colors will be pulled off of this image for now but what I do is I take this and I sketch out how I want it to be and then so here's my where is it this layer so my sketch layer Here is my sketch layer, and then I will decide how I want this to- I, I put some little rocks in there, but I don't know if I want that, I might put something different in there. But I wanted to keep the little geode look, like on the original, it kind of blends, so I, went, I gave it a little bit more layer so it has more of a geode look. So now what I would do is plot out the color. So I take the colors directly off the image and it starts like this. That's just really blobby like that. And then I will, just using the pen tool, this is all just using the pen tool. 
basically I would look at the image and just kind of see, okay, this color is kind of here, and this color is kind of here, and just place it in the way I want to. It's not going to look exactly like how the original looks, and some of the colors aren't going to be exact. Like, this is kind of like lavender looking, and the original was, what, like a more lighter blue? But that doesn't really matter. And then have both of them here because I wanted them to overlap like how I have this one. So uh, same thing, take the colors, put them in there, and you see here I added more rings around it so it looks more like a geode. And this doesn't have any sense of shape or anything there because like I said I think I decided I didn't want the I didn't want the rocks in here anymore. So when this gets blended over it might look completely different. But that's how I start this. The next step then, um, I don't need the sketch anymore, I just need this. You're gonna lock your layer, lock your transparency so you're working within this. And I'm going to blend it, but first I will duplicate it so that I don't have a backup just in case I mess it up. And then we're going to blend it. Now I am going to use my gouache brushes. I am going to basically use these three right here. These three. Um, maybe a little bit of this one, I'm not sure, but mostly these three, mostly this one. And these ones I just downloaded off of the the clips the asset store and you just look up like concept brush or texture brush concept art brush it's it's one of those you, any brush you want to use is fine so for this one in the middle here mostly what i'm doing is just right clicking to choose the color i'm blending with and very lightly applying pressure to blend it and because i want this to be a blended but with a little bit of texture, I'm, that's why it's going to look like a little bit of a blob here. Because I kind of want the colors to peek through when I apply like glitter textures and everything in here afterwards. So this isn't really meant to look like anything specific, just I want to get the colors in there that are going to peek through when I add my texture later. One of the things that you can do if you're unsure on how to plot out your colors, um, you can take this image and in Photoshop it is index color. Yeah, it's index color and I think it's also posterization in Photoshop as well because index will flatten your image. But in Clip Studio you go to edit Tonal Correction Posterization and it will separate out your colors like this so that you can pick out what colors you might want to use. That'll make it a little easier for having trouble visually putting because there's a lot of detail in here and you can bring the detail down and up. But this is more than enough for if you're just visually looking at what you want.
Now, sometimes when I'm done with these, I actually just really like the end result of the painting. And I'll just save them to the side to use for something else. Like for instance, these ones, the lollipops, and the cake roll, the clear cake roll. I liked how it looked when I was done with it. Um, not done with it, when I was finished with the, the local colors from the reference images. And I'll just separate them onto their own section. So here was the lollipops. And I think I'll use them for a different thing. Because these colors themselves are nice. And then I'm going to do some more with some other colors. And keep them to their own like for a different sticker or maybe these can be charms and here for the cake rolls this is this right here I just liked how I had it already and I thought hey something else could be in here so I was trying different different planets different celestial bodies in the middle this actually might make an interesting shaker charm. I'll think about that later. So for this one... I'm not sure if I'll make it into something else by itself, but I have that in the back, just in case. But what I'm gonna do next now, before we start doing the gradient map to get these colors, is I'm going to take my Galaxy Sparkle Texture and we're going to put that on top of here. And we'll just play around with the blending modes until I find one that I like. gradient sets. I think this one, the one I've been using, is under my, this set, which is another set I've downloaded from the asset store. It's this first one, and that's how we get those colors. The next step is to set it. So I'm going to take it down to about 60, 50, 60, let's see. Let's do 65. And go down to colors. Maybe let's take it in. Yeah, there we go. Play with it until it's about where you think you want it to be. Oh, well, let's see now. If I think I'm having a bit of an issue with like I am now, it's getting a bit darker, I might need some adjustments, so I'm going to play with the layers, the levels, and see if I can get it where I want it. And then the only part after this is if I wanted to add any little details, like in the middle here, maybe I want to put some stars or a moon. I don't think I want to put anything decorative on here. I didn't have it in my sketch because I liked the rock detail already. Rock candy detail. So I might see or maybe I'll put like a galaxy swirl in here or something different I want to add into this spot. Now while I was looking for different textures to decide what I wanted to put in here, I settled on this little galaxy swirl right here. 
let's right click in and remove the black and then I put the same gradient map on it. I also put in this little glitch texture. I liked how that looked. So what I'm going to do is blend the edges here. Now that the designs are finished, I'll set up the sticker sheet. Like I said before, I want this to look like a menu, so I'll add some hours of operation. I like how it turned out so much, I decided to make a print version, with names for the treats. Printed out a test version on the paper that I'm going to be using. So it is Canon printer paper. It has borders on it, um, but that's not really how it's gonna actually turn out. This is just a test for me to see how the quality comes out. And the colors look great. Of course, it won't be cut off in the final version. I just wanted to see how everything came out. It's looking good, except for, I think this one over here came out a little blurry. So I'm going to edit that and then I'll do another print. But everything else came out very nice. I might have to do this in like a hollow print too. I think that would look great. This one came out much better. Of course, the first one was a test, so I didn't care about the borders, but I removed the borders and it looks great. And I fixed that one in the corner that was looking a bit blurry. So now I just need to wait for the sticker sheets to come in and you will be able to get these together. Maybe separate, I'll, I'll put options, but you can either get it as a print or a sticker sheet. All right, well, that is it for March. We are moving on to April since this is the last day of March. Um, the store is now opened. I opened it about a week ago because I could make a few deliveries. Still not completely healed off with my foot, but it's enough for me to make small delivery since the post office isn't far from where I live. But you can take a look and see what we have going on here. You can see behind me the living room is a mess because I've been very busy this month. And so I've got my yarn here which I did a little small video for and I'll get to that later. I have my Pantone colors organized, finally. I'll get them somewhere. New displays that I got. That's the one I was gonna clean up, so I'll get to that one too. 
more displays and things. Some knit projects I need to go through. A whole bunch of stuff. Some new grid shelves. And I have these keychains here that when I was working with the manufacturer, the ones that I was gonna have custom, we were having an issue with that. So I was able to get some of the pre-made ones they had at a discount, but I think I'm going to only sell these in person. So these will be in convention and they won't be on the Etsy store. But they are very cute and they do fit our theme. They're all space related. more to come. I'm still printing out more prints and I've got I've got more stuff coming actually. Yeah, so there's more of these. Um, the sticker sheet order has finally gone through so these will be ready in April. I have a lot of things I need to take pictures of. Um, oh, there is also these ones that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to either sell these as is or I'm going to add an extra charm to them. I like to add extra things to my pieces so we'll see what I do. But um, these will be up and ready in April too as well. So for now that's all and I've got a lot of work to get back to so I'll see you. Bye!